I've been looking forward to just like that second season with the same near maniacal excitement that I imagine extreme sports fans have for the Super Bowl. Finally, it is here. We haven't forgotten about the sex, appears to be the big, bold message at the beginning of season 2. A video collage of all of our main ladies doing the railing or railing. Everything you might want to know about the conclusion of Just Like That can be found here. Episode 1 and 2 of Season 2 Spolars Await. The main episode, typically, starts with sex. Carrie, Miranda, Miranda, Simu Patel, and Lisa Todd Wexley all have sex with their partners. Then there's Dr. Nia Wallace, who can't leave her house and has to watch pornographic videos for solace. In the after-sex bliss, Carrie and Franklin talk about cooking, and Carrie says that she has always wanted to learn how to poach an egg. Franklin encourages her to give it a shot right away. The following morning, Carrie's attempts to poach eggs fall short of her expectations. Carrie's worlds collide when Charlotte appears just as Franklin is about to leave. As Charlotte enthusiastically questions her companion about Franklin, Lisa plans to get subsidizing for her next narrative. Her husband Herbert's proposal to pay for it doesn't go over well. In the meantime, Miranda is getting ready for their new television show while she is celebrating being the best version of herself in Los Angeles. Their interest is piqued by a passing observation that suggests their weight. This is interpreted by Miranda as a growing lack of interest in her. In any case, toward the finish of the episode, both she and Miranda express their feelings of dread. For the Met Ball, the ladies get ready. Appear to be in his carries in addition to one, while Charlotte should go with Anthony Marantino. However, Zed and Seema have been invited to dinner. His son and his former wife force Carrie to cancel, and Harry, Charlotte's husband, expresses his desire to attend the Met Ball, erroneously believing that he will be able to ascend the stairs and meet celebrities. Anthony is shocked to learn that he has been replaced, but the women console him by promising that he can go with Carrie. However, Seema quickly leaves when she discovers that Zed still lives with his former wife during the dinner. She calls Carrie to let her know that their strategy has been revived. Anthony is once more the outlier. Fortunately, Harry decides not to go when he finds out that he won't be able to talk to Rihanna, making Anthony Charlotte once more his helper. In the interim, Lisa and Herbert are compelled to stroll to the celebration after the previous neglects to save a van. Carrie's last-minute outfit disaster forces her to wear the only dress she has, complete with headpiece. Her wedding dress from the 2008 movie Sex and the City, in which Mr. Big left her at the altar. In episode 2, Carrie learns that she needs to find a way to feel at ease, promoting a vaginal wellness product. Herbert finds that in spite of his abundance, he is comparably powerless as some other member of a minority group in some circumstances. Charlotte is forced to accept that her children are maturing when Lily sells her dresses to buy a keyboard. When Diane's estranged husband, Andre, suggests that they try surrogacy to save their marriage because he may cheat on her in the future, Diane becomes enraged. In the meantime, Sed and Seem briefly reunite, but she rejects him once more when he tries to get her to be an equal partner in a Manhattan club. Miranda meets Tony Danza, who will play their father in their self-titled series, and learns that she was previously married to a man. And with that, the second episode of season 2's conclusion, do Franklin and Carrie break up? Yes, Franklin and Carrie split up near the end of episode 2 of season 2. In the first season, Carrie lost Mr. Big, and she thought that her relationship with Franklin was always meant to be casual. They had sex after recording their podcasts on Thursdays. Carrie was happy with the arrangement, but when Franklin asks her to go with him to a party with his friends on Tuesday, she seems to realize that she isn't ready to commit to a relationship yet. She immediately tells Franklin, who seems to accept her decision. However, at the episode's conclusion, he acknowledges that he is unable to remain in a relationship with no future. Carrie notices that she has just freed up her entire week, and the two of them come to an amicable agreement. Is the podcast Sex and the City cancelled? The podcast Sex and the City has been cancelled. They had a successful first season, but in this industry that is always changing, business moves at a breakneck pace. Before coming up with the words she feels most at ease saying, Carrie needs to get her fear of promoting a vaginal wellness product. The studios will have been sold to Apple or another large corporation when she and Franklin return to them. Following Franklin's earlier suggestion, Carrie suggests they sell the podcast to third parties. However, as he points out, it's hard to tell when something has already been cancelled. Both their personal and professional relationships come to an end. I appreciate your viewing. In addition, if this is your first time viewing our channel, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to never miss a new video.
Omit our most recent video.